every DJ I speak to always wants to get more gigs. They want to play more. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that using Instagram. Gigs, sets, shows, however you want to label it, every DJ wants more of them. To perform the music they're making or music from other people in front of a live audience and basically take it out of their bedroom is always the dream. Whether it's going and just playing that one gig a month or playing it on a full on world tour, it's what every DJ wants. Over the last five years, I've worked with 400 DJs, first from my one-to-one -one coaching and now my course, The Artist Blueprint. When I'm speaking to people from our course, I have a discovery call which basically chats to them about what their goals are. And always one of the big ones is, I'd like to play more gigs, or they'd like to tour the world, or they'd like to play as many gigs as John Summit, Adam Bayer, Andy C, Charlotte DeVitt. So let's use Instagram to get you more gigs in 2023. The first thing you've got to do is get the product right. And I know that sounds super businessy and super markety, but it's so important. It is a music business after all. And the product for me is either you as a DJ or your music that you're making, or the combination of both. Once you've got that product nailed down and you're really good and you're really honed the skills, then what you're going to need to do is build a community of people that want to come pay to see you play. Being a club promoter means you've got to sell tickets, bums on seats. So these days, using social media to build an audience that essentially is free to use, you don't have to pay to get on social media, you don't have to pay to make content, it's free to use to build an audience around you as a DJ and a producer. Yep, I said it's free. It's free to have an account, it's free to post, it's free to use it. All it takes is your time and some skills. So let's start doing that regularly. The first thing you need to do is work out your strategy. Don't panic and post, sit down and plan first. And this is gonna include music. It's gonna include making Instagram reels. Yes, you have to move over to them now and work out a way of making regular videos of you DJing and performing. The second thing you need to do is then take some of these videos and maybe use them as a carousel because they've got different algorithms. Reels and their carousels are different algorithms and they work differently and will be shown to different audiences. When you DJ at a gig, you're essentially showing the people that are in front of you what music you like and what music you think they should listen to and what music is going to absolutely rock their party. And that's what you should do on Instagram as well. Show them other people's music that you're into. Show them content of tracks that they should definitely be into and definitely listen to. Curate your Instagram feed as you would do your set. This week's track of the week, this week's track banger, this week's summer anthem. If you are live streaming, use those clips of you live streaming and you playing records and showing your DJ and showing your skills. If you have really good skills and you're one of these technical DJs that just has absolutely nailed the techniques of using the decks, show them regularly. If you are making a radio show, flip the camera on. We've all got the setups now from the pandemic. Flip the camera on, record the set as well, and then cut that up for content. It's going to help push your radio show at the end of the day as well. well and once you get these gigs, don't forget to get the video you planned in front of a crowd. Don't get too drunk and forget the content to push the next video and the next gig. If you're just starting out and you have nothing to post, then it's very simple. It's about you as a DJ and your music that you love. And your audience is going to grow because they're into the similar music than you. And what you'll do is you'll start building a community of like-minded people that are into the same music as you. And funnily enough, if you've ever read a club show write-up or when someone's starting a club show, those words are in the key parts of that original post. We want to start a show. We want to start an event with a like-minded people. We are doing that on Instagram. We are doing that on TikTok. And that's why you're going to get booked. And you need to do all this before you start directing people to book you. The next step, once you've built the content series, is get your bio and your profile absolutely hyped up and singing. Your profile picture needs to be sharp and to the point so you can see your face. I don't want to see any logos. I don't want to see any blurry images. I don't want to see any blurry backgrounds. Keep it popping. Make sure your bio includes you as a DJ, the music you're playing. Maybe some releases you've had, maybe tagging some labels or other people that are going to big you up, maybe residencies you've got, but also make sure it says book me with the, an email address. Don't just assume people are going to click on the button that says email or message you. Make yourself look professional. Spend time on those four or five lines in that profile because it's searchable. When someone searches those keywords, you're going to come up in the search, which is going to help you get found. And then people are going to land on your page. They're going to see your content, they're going to see you DJing. And that's all going to help to the point of getting more gigs. The next step is you want to start following the brands and the promotions that you want to play for. Who are they? Who are the people booking them? And who are the brands? What are the big shows? What are the big club events? Or what are the local club events? Become your local hero first. Follow those shows. Interact with them. Start DMing them. Start finding out who runs the show and who's booking the show. 
and then start DMing those people. Always remember those shows are going to need engagements on their posts to help their posts grow and get more reach. And you can be doing that and helping those shows out. Then your face, because your profile picture is popping, is going to come up in, the, in those comments and that promoter is going to see you regularly and he's going to see you as running the online crowd. Then maybe when you get to the gig, if it was a local gig, for instance, they're going to see your face and they're going to see you and you're going to say hi and you're going to shake that hand. These All these little things are going to help for getting that gig and making that network happen. And then once you've got that DM convo going, move the conversation to email. Email is so much more professional. It's about business. DMs get lost. Email can, is trackable. Where are the three dream places you would love to play as a DJ? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. You should definitely watch this video next. It's on how to grow on Instagram and it's 11 killer tips to grow on Instagram right now. Next week, I'm going to talk about Reels tips to help you grow in 2023. You do not want to miss that video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I've been Graham Farmer and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio. Bye-bye.